We're on Langehullen on the classic big fish river Bolsta, the lowest stretches of the Vosso in Norway. Here may be more 60 plus pound salmon than anywhere else in the world been taken. That was the good old days, but the good old days are gone. Now the fish farming industry has killed the unique stock. But there's some hope now because there's a reintroduction of the stock that gives us some positive signals. In the old days most of the big fish were caught on prawns from the boat. Some big fish were caught on the fly from the boat. But today our fly fishing tackle is so much better and the big river is quite easy to fish from the bank. Personally, I prefer bank fishing, even on big rivers where the tradition is casting from the boat. From the bank, I have more control to fish my fly the way I want to. When I come to a place like this, where the river is broad and the fish can be almost anywhere, I try not to just rip off a lot of line and throw my fly over to the other side. Remember. The grass is not greener on the other side, not even on the big river. I always try to start fishing the short line, make sure that I cover the lies close it into me first. Then I can rip off line meter by meter and cover the whole pool. Here I'm fishing a sinking line and even though it's a fairly heavy sinking line, I'll I don't put the line down on the water and rip it up again. Remember how noise travel on the water and I want my fly to be presented to the fish without its knowing I'm there. Very important, I think. Well, I fished this tail with my 14-8 reaction. The FRS, the new one. And I picked the 6-7. Uh, power taper sinker and tried like a 15 centimeter big silver summer line. It's not very delicate, but it fished nicely and we didn't get any fish. But like, uh, you can imagine if you hook a 40 or 50 pounds down there, you know, in for a good fight. Now we go over to the other side. Bold style. This is the traditional classic big fish pool. Here very many of those early season May and June 50, 60 and 70 pounders were caught. The big river makes the long casts in many places absolutely necessary. To catch the fish you need to cover the line. It's as simple as that. I do my spay and underhand casts most places and with my triple D's I handle quite a long line. With a bit of struggle I even get the full shooting line out. Today the traditional overhand cast is a rare sit sight. Underhand and spay casting is the new tradition. I like the overhand cast though. Like here on the Bolster Helen I'm quite a bit out in the water. I do a little false roll cast, lift the line without splashing, one time with the line behind my head and then I shoot it out. That way quite simple and quite delicate I can do the full shooting line and place my fly over to the other side in the deep fast water where most of the fish lie here. A little trick you can see is that fishing the long line with a lot of slow water in front of me, like here, I start to drift with a high rod tip. This way I get a longer and faster drift. Big samurai. 
are fishing Bolsta Perlen and uh, had the grills in the top. Then I uh, I fished better high up with a small or medium sized fly and then I changed tactics. Went on to the very heavy line. Put on a big silver samurai, like 18 centimeters. Using my, my uh, reaction, uh, the new one, with a 6-7 line. And on a very long cast, very deep down. Uh, hooked this. It's not the biggest fish from the Bolsta, but it's my first multi sea winter fish from Bolsta, so special fish for me. Look at this fantastic tail. This is where the Bolsta beach starts. This is where the river runs out of the Evangel Lake. A place like this of course holds a lot of fish. They come up from the river and they hide in the deep lake. I try to fish a place like this on the smooth surface as delicate as possible. Salmon fishing is very, very seldom good on the bright uh, day like this. And a place like this, I prefer to fish when you have a bit of wind on the surface and uh, preferable a bit of rain too. Or on a bright day like this, you should go there in the dark. On big rivers like this, I've taken quite a few fish from the steep, deep side, here the other side, the goat side we could call it. It's trickier fishing, but it can be very, very good. When the pool is slower though, like this one, the long line will give you more speed. If you square it, and get the downstream belly, your fly will fish faster. I also start retrieving a little bit before the fly slows down. Very often, the first couple of meters of careful retrieve is what will produce the take. We're back in Bolstahallen, and here I'm coaching and filming one of my good British friends. It's quite easy to see that he do a few things that I don't like. Things that I think will affect his fishing in a negative way. First of all, his cast is way too short. Secondly, he puts his fly down on the water and rip it up. That way, making sure all the fish in the pool knows he's there. I think it's so much better to surprise the fish with a fly. I also think the angle of his cast is too much downstream, which will give him a too slow fly. There are so many interesting thoughts in salmon fishing. Does the fish know if they're holding 5 or 50 meters from the bank? Of course they don't. Also on the big river, a lot of the really good spots and good holding places are close into the bank. Remember that the long line will also make you lose control. Here on Stroman, the sea pole on Bolsta, I hooked and landed a few nice fish. Using the technique with a shorter line with full control of angle, speed and depth everything. One of the fish pulled me a few times. I had to speed it up to make him finally take my fly solid.
full control and believe in what you do. That's the key to success. What I found here. Last hour when the sun went away right in the sea pool on Bolsta. Really nice broad fish, look. Female that's been tagged before, maybe I would say 20, 2, 3 pounds on a really big samurai. And I caught one first, lost one, and this is.